What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how to make watermelon puree juice so that you can use it in your cocktail. I am watermelon rich and somebody had recommended making watermelon margaritas. I really don't drink tequila whenever I do have a cocktail or beverage, it's usually vodka or rum. So I started Googling cocktail recipes, cocktail watermelon recipes, and I came across a watermelon Moscow mule. I was done. I thought that that was perfect because I love Moscow Mules. That's like one of my go-to drinks. So I stopped by the ABC store today and they were out of a lot of things. The only thing they had available was this vodka here and it's called Ocean. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. So I'm gonna show you how to make watermelon puree juice so that you can use it in your cocktail. So this has been washed and cleaned and the first thing you wanna do is just shave off the outer rind without getting too much of the flesh. Comment down below and let me know if you would prefer a watermelon margarita or a watermelon Mos Moscow meal. One year I made a bunch of watermelon and cantaloupe, um, what are they called? Melon balls. You scoop out the melon and you let it soak in alcohol for 24 hours. Those are good. Those are good for summer parties. So you wanna remove any seeds that you can see. Some are just bound to get in there. I'm just gonna remove these ones on the top that I see. The rest of the seeds will just get strained out when we run it through the strainer. So I'm just gonna get this cut up in chunks and then we're gonna get it added to our blender. We'll go ahead and give this a go. I'm really excited to try this. I hope it's gonna be as good as I think it is. So this is gonna be my first impression trying it with you guys, because I've never had it before. I just had a bunch of watermelons that I was trying to make use of, and somebody suggested this. I thought this would be fun to try, and I haven't had a cocktail in a long time, so I'm overdue. And I figured it's the weekend right before school, why not? Last time to let my hair down before we get ready for school mode, mom duties. Let me know in the comments, are y'all ready for school to start back? It's been fun having them home, and things have just been a a little bit more laid back, but now we're about to get back into the, the whiff of thing, get back into our routine. I even heard that you can make pickled watermelon rind. That's what somebody else has said in the comments. I thought that was interesting. I have never heard of that. All right, I'm gonna get this going again so we can get it down some. For the longest time, I only used to drink Captain Morgan. And then my sister-in-law put me on to Moscow Mule and that was my thing for a while. Then I went back to Captain Morgan and now I'm back on Moscow Mules. I remember one year when she had first turned me on to them, I had made my own ginger beer. That was the best ginger beer ever. I'm always interested in making things from scratch. It's more like a challenge. If I see something, I just wanna see if I can do it. So that was the best ginger beer ever. I'm gonna have to make that recipe again. She loved it. This is a lot of watermelon. The first year I grew sugar babies, I grew them in a container because I was just getting started with gardening. And they, they it produced pretty well. I got about two or three of them, but they were small. This year I actually planted them in my raised beds and they just took off. Like one plant gave me five or six of them and they were huge. You saw the size of this one. So that goes to show you, I mean, you can grow things in containers, but they just sometimes won't reach their full potential. I'm learning that now, transitioning from just a container garden to raised beds. You are limited on space. You definitely can grow them in containers. I did it in five gallon containers. Five gallon um, buckets. They did great. I just trellised them up on a tomato cage. Worked out fine. This year I just had a little bit more space. Now I'm watermelon rich. All right, so we got the watermelon juice all puree. I'm gonna run it through this fine sip strainer and get out that pulp and the seeds.
gonna discard of this. We don't want the pulp, we just want the juice for this recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up so that I can pour another round. All right, here we go for round two. Nothing like fresh juice, like fresh pineapple juice, fresh apple juice is so good. Doesn't compare to anything you can get at the grocery store. So we have our juice, but I wanna run it through one more time just to make sure that we get anything that has gotten through. It's like a regular Moscow meal. So we got our vodka, limes, our ginger beer. I'm gonna measure, measure the um, ingredients out and then we got our watermelon juice. So I got our Moscow meal cups. They've been in the freezer, so they are nice and cold. And Moscow meal cups are my favorite because they really stay cold for a long time and keep your cocktails nice and cold. So I got my shaker cup here full of with ice. The recipe calls for two ounces of vodka, three ounces of watermelon juice, one ounce of lime. Give this a good shake and then we're gonna add the ginger beer at the end. Then you add one and a half ounces of ginger beer. Add a little pinwheel lime. Let's give it a try. It's good. Definitely the watermelon flavor. So thanks for making these Moscow Mules with me. I want you guys to try it and let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. Let me know if you like it or if you just want to stick to the regular traditional Moscow Mules. I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. Also, this is new too. So maybe if, it, if you want to try it with a different vodka. This is my first time using this vodka. So this is just a whole new experience. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.